You and I have talked about it a few times here on this show, and every time we do, it seems to get a big reaction. So let's do it again. The WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, some inductees have already been announced, and I'll name those that have been selected for the honor thus far to get your thoughts. So uh, the first one, I would guess he probably didn't have a lot of time around, uh, Bull Nakano. Have you ever met Bull or seen her work? Yes, I've seen her work. And what do you think of her? She's Bull Nakano. <laughs> she don't play around, man. Man, she is a tough cookie. And it's funny looking back at uh, her, those images of her back when she was in her heyday. Like she was big and she had the crazy hair and the makeup and stuff. And now you see her today and you're like, that's a beautiful woman. So she, uh, man, she was a pro. It was pro. Yeah, she was, man. And uh, she certainly deserves the honor. Next up, we've got Paul Heyman, who you uh, you did some business with on a couple of occasions uh, back there in the 90s. Jake, what are your thoughts on Paul getting the nod? You got to give Paul Heyman the nod, but I'm surprised they're doing it before he got out. He's out of the business. I've heard that too. Yeah, I'm surprised that it's happening now. Yeah, from what I've heard, I've you know Paul was one of those guys who probably wouldn't want the honor until he was out of the business because he's still kind of building his legacy as we speak. Absolutely, that's what I don't get. Yeah. A little strange, uh, but let me say the next one. There's nothing too strange about this one. It makes perfect sense. We've got the U.S. Express, Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham, the father and uncle of Bray Wyatt, who passed away back in August. Jake, what does it mean to you to hear about a couple of your peers and guys that I know you like really well uh, getting this incredible honor? Well, I'm really glad that Mike and Barry are getting it. Uh, Barry, I had a long program with him in Florida way back when, and um uh, he certainly deserves the honor. And Mike, his body of work spans three decades. Mm -hmm. uh, what's not to say? You know, they deserve to be in there. Now, would you have preferred to see them go in individually? Or are you cool with the U.S. Express distinction? I would have liked it more if they had been individually, but U.S. Express works too. Yeah, I don't think it's too bad. And now Barry Windham is going to be a two-time Hall of Famer because I think he was there for the Horseman uh, thing too. So, yeah, it's, man, good for him. Well-deserved. Yeah, absolutely. And the next one is one I'm really not sure how you're going to react to, Jake. Uh, just yesterday as we are recording this, we got the news that your childhood idol and one-time rival, Muhammad Ali, is going to be the celebrity induction this year. Uh, Jake, I know you're not crazy about celebrities in a wrestling Hall of Fame, but what do you think about this one? Well... Ali deserves to be in every Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Uh, he's, he did so much for for boxing, and he's done so much in so many other avenues that uh, it's a great pick. Man, if you're going to have a celebrity in a wrestling Hall of Fame, like between what he did with Inoki, with you, WrestleMania, WCW, it's like, man, it feels like Muhammad Ali and wrestling have just been hand in hand. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm glad he's going in. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad we got your thoughts on that, Jake. I think there's still a couple more inductees here coming up, so we'll talk about them on the next episode. 